G'day and welcome to Ranico Plays The Long Dark by Hinterland Games. We're in a buying cabin, apparently. Uh, trying to, um, you know, just got a bit of sleep. Uh, and trying to work out where we can go next. Because since none of these cabins have places for us to keep things, and I don't actually have much in the way of food, this is a, merely a stopping point. Um, what's my condition? 30%. So it's not like I'm in a particularly good position to move on either. I kind of want to head over to the island. If nothing else, because it's an island. Um, and I probably will need to actually sleep the night soon because it's getting dark. What I'm going to do is duck over to that fishing hole in the distance and see if that helps or if that has some food because uh, I should be able to the fishing holes have stoves in them so I can start a fire there and stay warm and I can camp the night in one of those and then try and head over and see if there's anything cool on the island tomorrow plus this lets me look along the Highway a bit more. There's a moon. That's quite a nice big moon in the sky there. Or is that the sun with uh, clouds in front of it? Maybe it's that. But either way, it's pretty massive in the sky. It looks nice. It looks real nice. Um, ooh. That bridge. Uh, it's just a bridge with nothing underneath it. It looks like there's some kind of a access way. Almost. Also, those look like wolves in the distance there. So. You'd think these things would have doors. Empty draw. Empty draw. Paper. Take it. Ammo for a gun I don't have. Reclaimed wood. Wow, you are unhelpful. That's probably rocks there. The inability to easily tell what is a house and what is not, at least for me. Really quite annoying. You come after me, wolf, and I will cut you. I will cut you good. Seriously, why are there no doors on this? 100% frozen fishing hole. Um, actually, I know that uh, equipment I can harvest tinder plugs from here. So I can harvest here and get four tinder plugs, which for ten minutes work, probably a good idea. Okay, that's that. Now if we start a fire. Tinder plug also increases the chances of it actually starting. I'm hoping that the fire will keep the wolves away. Because this requires the wolf not coming in and trying to bite my face off while I'm doing this. This could be a really dumb idea and it could end the run. I probably won't start a new game after this. Basically, uh, I'm pretty happy with what I've experienced so far. And it's just, you know, I'm pretty keen to just keep an eye on any developments in the future from these guys so I've got no food to cook if I add to the fire and then I forage wood hatchet get some hardwood three units of hardwood 
Hopefully the hatchet won't break because this is wearing the hatchet out. Forward. Add. Forage wood. Soft wood. I'm gonna forage for more of that. This is really cutting into my calorie supply. It's dark outside. It's uh, not as warm in here as it could be. Okay, now I'm gonna I guess the next step is melt some snow. Melt, uh, boil some water. Got heaps of time with this. The problem is the food. And then I can drink. <sighs> Look at that. You can't see a thing outside. Uh, so drink. Drink would be an equipment. Food? I've only got water. Got plenty of safe to drink water at least. And then I'm gonna need to sleep, which would be bedroll. Bedroll down in here. Wow, I'm not going to make it through the night, I think. Got a nice toasty fire, I just don't have... So I could sleep my way through the rest of this, but I don't have the calories. So what's going to happen here? I'm going to sleep for one more hour. And I realize it is midnight and it is pitch black out here. It is like the game is not actually rendering anything other than a horizon. That is very close wolf sound. Um, pretty creeped out right now. Hatchet. Break ice. Let's see if I can get ice from this hole. Despite the lack of a fishing line. Nope, fishing tackle required, of course. And of course there is no fishing tackle in this place. I am hungry, I am starving, and I think I'm going to starve to death. And that's going to be the end, because I can't make it until it's bright enough to search. I really shouldn't have come in here. Unless the game doesn't end when you hit zero calories, basically. I've got to head out. I never thought I'd be dying from starvation. Yeah. I can't see a thing. I kind of am surprised by that. I mean, admittedly, my eyes aren't super dark adapted right now. What with the whole sleeping by a nice warm fire. But I also... It's pretty bright. It's a pretty bright night. There's no clouds. Um, There's no clouds, uh, which is good because there's also no ground-based illumination for the clouds to reflect. But this kind of environment should actually be relatively bright. Um, do I have a there's a control to get at flares, and I have a flare. Uh, key bindings. Equip flare was one. Hello, rock I was about to run into.
This here is a bridge. That's a very low poly flare animation. Food. Some description. That's what we need. But given that I can't see a thing, this flare is not going to last forever. Mostly hoping to run across another car. Where are we? There's a big thing here. Try and follow the road. My condition isn't actually dropping nearly as fast as I thought it might. Stop howling, wolves. It's rude. Tree. Okay. What? Does the tree block the whole path? No. But this rock fall does. Come on. They can't even forage for food either. It's just... Hopeless. At this point, I kind of would welcome a wolf attack because, in theory, if I killed a wolf, I could take its meat. Okay. That's ominous sounding. There's my hut. one even meant to go here. Yeah. I get that. And I get the sound. I'm not even on the water right now. My guess is head towards the island. Okay, yep, that's me falling into the water and dying. Oh, my clothes are now wet, so now I'm freezing to death even faster. Right. Yeah, this isn't actually in any way doing anything that is useful. And I die. Yeah. Sure. Okay. I made it one and a half days before dying. I felt I had to leave there, I guess. Knowing that you don't immediately die on zero, I could have tried sleeping through the night and heading straight for the island. But... I don't think I would have found anything more. Um, I don't think I would have changed my plan of heading along the road, then running into that complete block. At least I would have seen it sooner. But on the other hand, I also would have been out of calories for longer, so I, that would have caused me problems too. So yeah, that's what happens in the long dark. You die, and then you try again, and then you die. I believe because I've now been to the coastal highway, I may have another option. Uh, does that just start me over again? I didn't actually want a quick start, I wanted the menu. Uh, Alright, let's go back. Oh, this was another quick start. Uh, quit to menu. Sandbox. Voyager. Yeah, whatever. Uh, yeah, so I can now pick Coastal Highway as a starting location, which is cool. Uh, and then there's Pleasant Valley, which is more recent, and I'd need to be able to make it to that to pick that. But right now, I don't really feel like there is enough stuff that I want to do in the game. 
I really liked the stories, I really liked the discussions I had with my partner about this game. Uh, and it's a game that I'm definitely going to keep an eye on. But I really would like the direction that a story mode would add. Uh, and I get that what they're currently working on is actually expanding the sandbox, I guess. I don't know, I haven't read updates. All I know is that the most recent update was adding more area. Um, I don't know what the plans are or what the timelines are for that story content. Basically, I probably won't revisit this game until that comes out. Uh, there are a bunch of things I haven't tried. I have not found a weapon. Uh, and I know that you can then basically go hunting with that. Uh, but on the other hand, any weapon you find, you will have very limited ammo. Uh, so I don't know how well that will all go. Uh, but this has been Ranico Plays The Long Dark. Uh, the, the current alpha version. And I came away enjoying it. I just kind of want there to be more direction and... Uh, something beyond just literally playing for time because that's how the game's currently set up uh, and hopefully the devs will add more in the future all right see you